Hi everyone, uh, welcome to ELI, the place where you get your daily dose of inspiration for entrepreneurship. And today we have with us Mr. Anshul Agrawal, uh, the co-founder of Stammerai, a mobile app to help uh, learn and practice speech therapy for stammering. Uh, Anshul is a graduate of IIT Delhi and has worked for companies such as Itas and uh, Round Glass uh, Curify before starting his own venture in 2019. Uh, hi Anshul, welcome to ELI. Hi, Priya. Uh, I'd uh, request you to introduce yourself to our audience, please. Okay. Hi, I'm Anshin, and I am co founder of Stamurai, as Priya mentioned. Uh, so, this is my third company. First one was ITAS, which was acquired by Cognizant. Second one was Curify, which is a doctor's working app. I was a founding team member over there, among the first engineers. And this was an app where we help doctors diagnose faster by creating a safe and secure community where they can discuss cases amongst each other. Mm -hmm. So that was my second company that was acquired by Round Glass Partners and hence the name Round Glass Curify. Okay. And then Stamurai is my third company after that. So Stamurai is a speech therapy app for Cambrim, as you mentioned, and we are three co-founders, me, Neet, and Harsh. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about Stammerai. Uh, what is the product about? Who are uh, our users? And how does it help? OK. Uh, so, so first, let me actually begin by telling how we started this project. Okay, so me, Harsh, and me, we have long, we have known each other for a very long time. And three and a half years back, we were flatmates. Okay, and there, uh, me told me that he stutters. And uh, I have been stuttering since childhood myself. So when me told me that he stutters, that was a shock for me because, like, I had known me for a long time. I, I didn't know that he also stutters. So he told me that in college, he did a lot of self-therapy, self-help, read a lot of books and practiced self-therapy on himself so much so that a normal person would not even notice that he stutters like me. I didn't notice. So he offered to help me with my speech. Okay. And uh, I learned a few techniques from him and gain some confidence. And that's when we got an idea to codify everything. Okay. That's where the Stamurai started actually. So at that time, uh, we made a small, uh, what we can, we can say a very small app or very basic app. Mm -hmm. uh, just, it just had some exercises in it. Okay. okay, so those exercises were mostly targeted towards me. Mm -hmm. I was the first user of Stamurai. Okay. In that sense. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's how we started. And since then, about one and a half years ago, we came full time into this. Mm. Okay, so how Stamurai works is we teach speech therapy exercises and we have tools in app to practice those exercises. Okay. okay. And then we create a training plan for each user mm. uh, to practice or learn something every day. Okay. For example, we would tell him on day one, uh, learn this exercise, with, do some reading, do some meditation and practice the technique you have learned. On day two, maybe just practice that technique only. On day three, uh, maybe we can teach him another technique. Okay. So things like that, we handhold him throughout the journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another aspect we have in the app is our community tab because the peculiar thing about stuttering is that you do not, you do not stutter when you are alone. Okay. okay. Mostly you will stutter when you are talking to someone. So mm -hmm. we have a community in app which provides safe space for anyone who stutters to practice with other people who stutters. Okay. So it's 
closer to a real life situation, but still a safe space because you know the other person also stutters, so you would be more comfortable. This will prepare you for the real life. Mm-hmm. Okay, so these are the three things, and we now also have a personal speech therapy sessions in app. So in case someone still wants to go for a speech therapy, okay, uh, we do provide. these therapists to them okay. so a speech therapist can configure their daily plan and do a lot more counseling than what is provided in app mm-hmm. so this is how it works and uh, our users are there in more than 150 countries right mm-hmm. now we are in english only and we are We have more than fifty thousand users around the world, and our community is already among the biggest stuttering community in the world. Okay, interesting. A uh, very interesting. Uh, since you spoke about the size of the community, now tell us uh, about the different figures. Like, how many users are using the application? Uh, what kind of impact we have been making, and uh, more importantly. Uh, uh what is the testimonial of the people okay uh so most of the people that we have heard reviews from are very happy from the app the only complaint that some people have is that app is paid app mm-hmm. so that's when we try to explain them that we have to be sustainable ourselves so we keep our rates low right uh but still we have to be paid because mm-hmm. we are at the end like uh we want to make a social impact but still in a sustainable way so we have to keep ourselves paid mm-hmm. and uh, users wise we have like uh as i said like more than 50000 users from 150 countries mm-hmm. uh more than like 8000 people download it every month okay okay and at any given time about 6 to 7000 people are using the app so our usage is since we are a global app like our usage mm-hmm. is around the clock okay uh since you have achieved uh, such a huge scale uh i would be very interested to know how it all started how did you find your initial for the first uh, 100 or uh, thousand users because as i understand that is the toughest uh, uh, challenge for any any product uh, startup okay uh, so actually this wasn't that tough for us Fra- okay. frankly speaking so i told you right that we uh, sent out an mvp on play store which mm-hmm. just had some exercises for me okay, okay. then so what we saw a lot of people were downloading the app themselves mm-hmm. like almost all our growth till date has been organic okay so this shows that there was a lot of pent up demand in market for a solution like this and that's why that is also a reason what motivated us to leave our job and start this full time okay so we got our like first thousand in probably what three months of launching and that too totally organic like it is just i think two or three months back that we have started paid marketing okay uh we sometimes speak about product market fit uh, would you say your product was already market fit when it was launched or did you do some uh, changes to the product to make it more appealing and more uh, suitable for the uh, target audience uh so i would honestly say that we are in early stages of pmf okay our and when you say what changes we made i say a lot so as i said the first version was just some exercises okay okay and then we started getting feedback that people didn't know how to practice those exercises so we added modules to learn those exercises first mm-hmm. 
okay and then we started getting some complaints that uh, people didn't know how to proceed it they had videos where they could learn exercises and some tools where they could practice but they didn't know that what to do now what to do next okay so then we introduce this daily training plan where we tell them that on day 1 just do these things day 2 do these things and we handhold them all the way and then we also realize that uh, people do not trust an automated solution that much right now Mm-hmm. Okay, we have seen people who used to spend like hundred dollars a day in cab to go to a speech therapist, but thought that hundred dollars per annum on Stamura is expensive. We gave them app for free, and then they started loving the app, and they started using it every day. So now we have also started this personal speech therapy sessions. So mm-hmm. this is kind of an, an and assisted plans where uh, a speech therapist would assist you with stammer okay so that's why a lot of changes are there so uh any sort of uh, growth hacks did you try to acquire more users uh, you already mentioned that you are doing paid activities now so any similar things that you did to uh, go viral or uh, acquire more users uh, at a small amount of time or effort uh not exactly we are still in stage of figuring out how a good growth hacks that works like most of them have not been successful till now only paid marketing or things like that have had some success but as far as hack goes like the problem is that stuttering communities are there but they are small uh, the communities on facebook and all and as i said like our community is almost the biggest one like it's not the biggest mm-hmm. so yeah growth our hacks have been difficult to come by till now but still we are trying we have some ideas uh, what is the north star metric that you look for your uh, company or the product uh so one is the subscriptions okay so subscriptions and especially the renewal part the renewals tell us that how many people are loving our product over right. time so we have a really good renewal rate right now mm-hmm. so yeah that is also a validation that people like our product okay uh do you pivot your uh, product model or business model somewhere in between uh sorry i didn't get the question did you pivot your uh, business model uh, somewhere in between a uh, business model no we didn't pivot it uh, we have always been a subscription model till now uh, mm. we have just added this e therapist thing so again that is not exactly a pivot but like now we are also doing some manual stuff apart from the totally automated stuff as well so yeah okay. that is a slight shift not a pivot as such understood um the typical startups we see uh, what happens is the people who build the uh, product they build it for others but uh, there are some rare instances where people try to solve their own problem and make a venture out of it and your your venture is a similar one where you are the customer yourself and uh, you have a unique advantage of understanding the product from the customer's point of view uh, having said that can you help us understand how does it impact uh in making decisions or uh, how does it impact in ma- building better products uh okay so the initial understanding and building product from our point of view helped us till a point but what we realized that since people are different i mean uh, so we had to kind of unlearn that we have to make product what 
people like for example uh, this peace therapy techniques mm -hmm. initially our language was a lot technical because we understood the techniques ourselves we thought that anyone coming should also understand that uh, but now we have simplified it so that uh, even a person who has never read a book on stuttering can understand that product so yeah that helped till some time but after that not okay okay uh would be very interested to know how did you come uh, come up with the financial runway to build this uh, entire thing okay uh so first thing that we got was a grant from social alpha byrac okay. okay uh that was i think in november uh, 2019 and then we raised an equity round from an investor in feb last year and then we have closed another small round just now like a month back okay uh what are the different uh, challenges that you have uh, faced so far while uh, building and growing this venture uh challenges again uh, like so the biggest one we think is there is nothing like this out there okay whatever we are doing we are doing it for first time in the world okay. so we cannot just copy concepts from anywhere and implement it here okay we have to think from scratch for everything so that has been the biggest challenge and also the most interesting part in doing this uh second thing was building for a global audience we in india we do understand india's market a lot better than the global market so building a product for world especially for western countries sitting from india is also a challenge true uh well uh, can you tell us uh, about your co-founders uh, how did you how did you come together to build a product and also a little bit about the core team how did you find the right people to uh, build the uh, product and the venture yes so me and harsh so we have been schoolmates we have known each other since class 11th okay and we were also roommates in college so and our first company was also same so harsh and me have known each other since school time and me was also in our college he was one year junior to us okay and me and harsh started their first company uh, around 2015 so through some common friend okay when i joined curofy me and harsh started their own company which was like khan academy of india in 2015 16 and since then they have been working together their last company was sisters so it's a men's wellness company okay and uh, yeah as i said three and a half years ago we again became roommates so that's when we started and when it came to hire our core team which was after closing our funding round in feb last year so in march as you know the lockdown started right mm. so all our interviews everything uh was online we have never met a team member except two of them who we been daddy we have never met our rest of the team so hiring was again a bit challenging for us at that time uh but yeah we found really good guys okay. initially especially in tech area and then we also found some growth consultants and all from mm -hmm. our previous contacts
any failures that you have uh, gone through while uh, building and growing this venture? Uh, so failures, yeah, I mean, there are failures on day-to-day -day basis, I'd say. Uh, so there have been a lot of experiments, like uh, first we started uh, this peace therapy thing only online without using our product. So that didn't work out too well. Uh, so now we have it in product. And uh, again, that second version of the app where uh, we just had those videos and tools. Okay, we had a lot of gamification as well, but that gamification was not visible to the user. So we had the belts, system of belts where you will progress and system of points, which made our product very complicated. And still it wasn't visible to users. So it was a complete failure. Like no one even noticed it that these things are there and we had spent a lot of time on them. So what we have learned from that is to keep things as simple as possible. Okay. Can you tell us uh, about uh, one tough decision that you had to take uh, during your entrepreneurial journey? Also would like to understand how do you make decisions? Uh, what is the process of uh, making a decision that you follow as an entrepreneur? Uh, so usually if it's a big decision, we discuss it amongst ourselves, the pros, the cons, and then we take a call. Like, uh, so that's the process in the major decision. For smaller one, we like, take decisions for our team ourselves. So, mm. uh, that's how it goes. Okay. Any tough decisions that you have taken uh, during your journey? Uh, tough decisions. Okay, the first one was that should we get of equity funding or not? Okay, tell us about so it. That was, yeah, so since we knew like we can make it into a small business, we can start charging money. We all three of us know coding ourselves. Okay, so should we raise funding or not? But then we decided that yes, we have to make it a big company. We also plan to move to other disorders. And if we do it ourselves, uh, like this would be very slow. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that was a tough decision. And second thing I would say that when to start this uh, speech therapist thing. Mm -hmm. So should we do it now? Should we optimize the product further? But again, then we thought that, yeah, we should go ahead with it. Let it be a feature in the app and let's see how many people are using it. Okay. Uh, can you give us some examples where you have witnessed compounding effect uh, uh, for your product or uh, any, any sort of uh, uh, initiatives that you had taken? Uh, compounding what? Compounding effect. Any example of compounding effect? Okay, compounding effect. Uh, so in subscription business, it's definitely a compounding effect, right? Uh, but yeah, the com the main thing was this track depth. So. Uh, so there are things while making a product that uh, we say that, okay, right now let's hack our way and later we'll refactor it. 
and that later never comes like you are always building new features new features take precedence so all the product becomes a hacky product mm-hmm. and like one day would definitely break so we have had our instances where our product was down for some time and and those incidents like their frequency kept on increasing okay. so ultimately we had to refactor a lot of code mm-hmm. stop all that and also like let us scale fast let us experiment fast so uh can you can you tell us what do you understand by the term entrepreneurship how do you define entrepreneurship what is the meaning of entrepreneurship to you okay to me like anyone who is doing something on his own like who ever wants to make an impact on his own he is an entrepreneur so even if you start a traditional business i uh, i personally consider even that as entrepreneur if you think you can make impact so yeah it's it's making impact on your own finally last question uh, to you tell us about the lessons uh, that you have learned as an entrepreneur which we can take away and apply them in our ventures and uh, more importantly we don't have to go through the same learning process the hard way that you have gone through uh, already okay uh, so the biggest one would be to keep the things simple okay keep the things simple so every time you want to implement something we should always spend some time on thinking how we can implement it in the simplest way possible okay without uh, doing a lot and second thing would be always think try, try to think from the perspective of a user okay. so when a user comes to the app he would not know what you know as a product developer you would know that uh, a particular thing is supposed to work in a particular way or thing that are obvious to you will not be obvious to a user hmm. so always try to think from the perspective of a user even in your communication email communication notification product development your marketing everywhere so yeah these two are i think the biggest okay well uh, we have come to the end of the session and i must say it was a pleasure to hear from you and the venture you are building is truly uh, innovative and amazing uh, 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 i think uh, thanks for your time anshul and our best wishes for stamrai thank you priya thanks for having me on entrepreneurs lounge